Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4944 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, please like and subscribe. So here we have 17 moves to clear out 90 of the crystal candies. That's unusual that that is our only assignment. And I see a few good moves here to make a, a stripe, but obviously I'm going to go for this. Look at this. I've got magic mixers, also known as evil spawners on the board. That's going to be dangerous. I don't know what they're going to shoot out at me, but I do have bobbers and I've got a dispenser here. I'm going to try to rely on those to help me through. Oh, I have lucky candies. Lucky candies always correspond directly to order fulfillment. Are they going to give us crystal candies? Do we not have enough crystal candies on the board? This is interesting. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Um, also, this is something that makes it interesting for me, maybe not for the rest of you. My brain has a hard time seeing the candies that are under the crystal candies. Because they're grayed out a bit, I have a harder time processing what's there. I mean, I can see, I know there's a green there. But it it's more difficult for me to put it together with the other greens that aren't grayed out so or that aren't you know diminished and I, I can see this clearly i can't see this as clearly so it's not as likely i'm going to know to put this together and even though i was concentrating in the green and i saw that i was kind of missing the fact that i would also put together the orange that's that's what my brain has to contend against I think I'm just going to take out a color. I've got five colors on the board. If I can take out purple, it's going to set this off, which will hit here. It's going to open up whatever is going to come out of this area because we have to make moves under here to get something. It's going to hit the crystal candy quite effectively. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, it only opened that up a bit. It didn't actually strike. And then we've got dark chocolate on the board. Now I will say that we do not have to get rid of these. Our life becomes easier if we can, but it's not imperative. We can still win without doing that. It just becomes easier to win if we can get rid of it. But I, I like moves like that, that hit this and, oh, can I get a striped drip combo? I can. This is kind of beautiful. It's going to hit this chocolate twice. So I'm going to almost completely remove it, and it may get a cascade to hit it again. It's going to hit this chocolate three times, because this is going to hit, and then this is going to hit. So we're going to remove this chocolate. It's going to hit each of these. It's going to send something out from here. Now, I do have other things I could do, but then this is also going to reach far and wide and clear out a lot of that crystal candy that we're looking for. I like wrapped on this board, but do I like it more than just getting rid of the chocolate? I do. Here's the reason. This is likely to send out more chocolate, right? Or something else just as bad. Let's make a wrapped. It sent out that dark chocolate again. Now I can make this stripe. Unfortunately, the conveyor belt will have taken this away, and so I won't be able to put it together. But let's just do all of these wrapped here. And then... I am getting crystal candies from the lucky candies. So that's interesting. Uh, let's do this. We'll take out chocolate so no new chocolate can form except from here. Um, I like doing this. We're going to bring this down and try to get a special. That didn't work as well as I'd hoped. <gasps> Four moves, 36. I don't like that. What if I take out all purple again or I take out all orange? I'm going to go ahead and take out all orange. I'm going to set this off. I need to make some very quick, big, bold, brash moves here. I can make a stripe, but it's off to the side. I need to make huge things happen in the center. I need to forget about these guys and forget about the chocolate and work where I have some open space. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of open space two moves left. I'm going to try to go for cascading at this point. Harder to do with five colors on the board. Be easier if we only had four. Um, yikes. This is going to come down. Oh no, it is going to set off. Okay, well that was interesting. I'm left with 19 of the 
crystal candies left, I concentrated too much on what was happening down here and not enough on making as much chaos as I could in the center. This is nice to be able to get some things, but it's hard to control. I need to go for big combos. Wrapped, wrapped, striped, wrapped. If we can get a color bomb, that would be good. And I just need to concentrate on those combos. That's what I'm, I'm going to do. So I'm going to pause and I'll be right back and we'll see what we can do with this. Okay, I decided not to turn off the mic because I feel confident now that I understand better the strategy to employ. So let's make a wrap here. Oh, beautiful. And now I'm hitting this, but on the back swing. All right, so let's see. I want to work in the center as much as I can. Um, mm, I don't like what I have available. I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, I was thinking the green was going to collapse on itself. It didn't. Ah, shoot. I feel like I know the strategy, but I'm, I'm not able to enact it as well as I was last time. So, and part of it is making moves low to the ground to encourage cascading. So I'm going to go center, but low center if I can. I'll make a, a crystal candy there. The more I have on the board, the easier it will be to remove them. And now here, there's the cascading I wanted, but not a great deal of it. I'll take a color bomb. I'll take a wrapped... I want that comboed. I so want that comboed. Let's go for a bit of cascading here. Oh, uh, now I've got a stripe, but it's heading the wrong direction. It's heading away from this. Should I just take out a color to concentrate things down? I might have to. I can take out orange, red, green, or blue. And at this point in time, it's hard to know which one is going to have the biggest significance. I'm going to go for blue simply because I have a wrapped candy here. Hold on. I, I, I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I waited. Okay, now I have this opportunity. I don't want to lose it, but I've got a few other things I can do. Is that a wrapped candy? If I do this and I set this off with wrapped, that's better than a stripe. Color bomb wrapped is better than color bomb striped on a board like this. Okay, and now I get this or this. Now I'm going to go striped because that's what I have available, right? I could do this and try to line this up. That's an interesting thing. But will this then thwart my purposes and cover something in chocolate that I don't want covered in chocolate? I'm going to go for this. I think that's the best move. There we go. All right, so second try, got it done. Had to think through a few things and determine what I thought was going to work best on the board. Now, Sometimes we try what we think is going to work best on the board and it doesn't. And that's okay because then we learn for the future. Because I don't think I would have been able to to beat that one so quickly had I not lost so many other times and gotten a feel for the board. So every time we play, win or lose, we're gaining experience. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.